spring return ball valve, spring return pneumatic actuator, three piece ball valve. This unit's set up with action indicator, uh, micro switch assembly on the top, but that's an additional component, it's just on this assembly here. This is a single acting spring return actuator, air signal in, and when the air signal's released, the springs will rotate it back to its closed or open position, depending on how it's interfaced here. I'll just demonstrate this unit. Put the air signal in, and the valve will rotate. Take the air signal off, and it rotates back to its sprung position. Open or closed, depending on which way you've operated it. Rotate it back. Now we recommend that you should always use a 5-2 valve on even on a spring return unit here. This is a Namur interface on these units, so this unit, this unit can mount directly onto there. The idea of that is that the this end here, which has the sounds in it to stop dust and dirt being sucked back in, in this particular case you would have air going in here, and you'd have a spring and air return. Not a problem for this unit because in fact they're double acting with springs and it then gets least filtered lubricated air going into your spring end rather than the possibility of sucking dirt and dust in from the atmosphere. As this unit rotates the ball, we have a 316 valve, three piece, the ball stainless steel and over here we have reinforced Teflon seats, RTFE and up in the stem there's a Belleville washers which are also reinforced Teflon with a live loaded packing up in this top unit here um, Chevron seats, I should say these are Chevron seats here in the stem with live loaded packing through the Belleville washer and a Viton backing o-ring in the top here there's the uh, thrust washer down the base these valves are suitable for steam or air or fluids up to 1000 psi or uh, 68 bar. Many applications and uh, they're a very economical and effective package. The three piece ball valve has the tie rods here so you can undo the tie rods themselves. The two ends remain in the pipework and you can swing out the centre cartridge with the actuator if necessary slide another cartridge in, put the four tie rods so I've got three here but the fourth one goes through there four tie rods back in again and it means that you don't disturb the pipe work and the unit can be replaced very easily great maintenance and uh, a very quick assembly